Last month, I bought a house, and over the next three days, I'm moving my entire 1500 item eBay business into it. I have no idea if I'll be able to squeeze everything in, but I've got a plan, and I think it's going to work. Welcome to Moving Day. So the first task to tackle this is to use these spare tubs that I've accumulated and start dismantling this entire bookshelf of DVDs. So we're all going to go across. They're going to stay in this bookshelf, but I'm going to have to remove it, put it in there, put them in the car, and then go and set it back up again over there. So I'm going to get into that now. So while I started to pack up my DVDs, there was still plenty of work to be done at the new place before I could move in. All right, so... We have now emptied out the entire garage. So this is gonna be the entire working space for this eBay business. Now I can't actually start bringing my stuff in here because we need to do one more task. And now that the walls are painted, it's putting the carpet down. So I'm using the carpet that was up in the spare bedroom and my bedroom um, that's been redone. So now the fresh stuff's up there, the old stuff's gonna come down here. So we're gonna pull it down, we're gonna lay it out, we're gonna cut it out to size. And then from there, we can start putting in all of the shelving and all of the inventory that I've got at mum and dad's. Our carpet's been laid and there's, it's, been, it's been pretty well done actually. It's pretty tight. Uh, I had to do some cutting and pasting, but this is all laid out. This is all gonna be shelving, so I've got no concerns with the, with the marks here. It's this space here, it's all open and all looking nice and it's pretty clean too. Got the joins pretty much, pretty much spot on. And then we've got the bookcase, the first piece of furniture in this room in place. So now we're just gonna put some shelves along this wall here and then we're gonna put some desks along here as well to get this place looking like an eBay room. Fortunately, I already had the shelves at mum and dad's place. I've been using these for the last couple of months and they were very easy to dismantle as well. It didn't take very long at all and I was able to get them across, no worries at all. I'll have more information on these shelves a little bit later. One thing that will be stopping as a result of this move though is consignment. I've got this really large collection of tubs here that I've been doing for uh, a lady, a viewer of the channel, and um, we've been selling off some of their stuff and uh, it's been a pretty good result. We've had some good numbers come through on it, but just going over to the new place, I don't really have enough room to be able to house consignment deals like this anymore. So they're gonna go and pick this up tomorrow. It's gonna to clean it out of my hair. Hopefully they've enjoyed the fact that they've been able to make a few dollars off my eBay store. And I've really enjoyed the fact that I've been able to build up my store with some of their items. So consignment, really good way to go about it, but not when you've got a small home. Now, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of questions about these shelves that I'm setting up, and they're some of the best purchases that I've made for this business. They cost 190 bucks each, 380 bucks to set it up, and it just so happens that I'm able to butt it up against that wall there, which just fits perfectly, and then coming off the garage door here, there's only a small gap here that I'm probably just gonna set up a few tubs, just go some tub height to the garage door. So the dimensions of these are perfect. Um, now, you can get them in all various sizes. The company is called Apple Shelving. Um, so if you are interested, they're a locally Queensland-based company here in Australia. Um, but the shelves are just a massive game changer. I do need to buy another shelf to go here. And then I'm going to be able to stack, stack an extra tub up there as well. So we should be able to go five across per, per shelf and, and five high. So 25 tubs per shelf, 50 tubs in the entire room. So I've also designed it in a way these shelves actually can adjust so you can fit it to the size that you want it to be. I'll show you an example of how one of these tubs are gonna slide in and just how much width I've got to be able to just get my hand in. So there it is there, it's a perfect sense of width and from a, a reaching perspective, I've pretty much just got a hands width here. So I can just go in and pull it out like this and it's gonna be absolutely perfect. It maximizes the space and even on the sides, five tubs fit absolutely perfectly. So the dimensions of this thing are perfect for resellers. Here we 
we go, guys. I've got the first shelf stacked, and it's looking pretty good. I actually didn't think I'd be able to get three heights of the roof, but I have. Remember, though, I do need to go and get this shelf put in, so it's only going to be too high in the end. The reason why I won't leave it as it is, is because these shelves, it, it is all based on weight. You can get ones that are a little bit stronger than this, but the weight that I've gone with, I can't remember the exact amount of kilos, but you do start to see a little bit of a bow. You can see how that pops out a little bit just here. Um, so that does pop out a touch. So I think it's just a little bit too heavy having it stacked three high, but for now, it'll be fine. I'm gonna go and get that shelf maybe this weekend and I'll drop it back down to two high, but we do still have this to play with as well. And I've got a whole heap more stuff to bring over. But the first shelf in the new pad, it's looking good. Now, as for all of these tubs, I've got a lot of uh, DVD box sets that were originally sitting on this shelf. Um, and I also had video games sitting on the shelf as well, but I've been really fortunate enough to get this bookcase. And this bookcase is incredibly sturdy, really, really sturdy. There's no weight issues with this. And I'm thinking I might actually put the DVD box sets into the shelf as well as the video games. And I think that, that bookshelf right there might be able to house all of that. I've already started putting up my consoles that I've got that I'm doing as a bit of a bundle up the top there. And I've got a big, um, I guess, piece of, just some electronics that I think I could put down right in the very bottom, some really heavy items. I've only got two at the moment and I don't plan on buying too many more. So um, they can hide down there, but let's go ahead and whack these video games in and the DVD box sets and we'll just see how we're going for room. Couldn't have picked a better day to move into the new place. Guys, I couldn't help myself. I gave Apple shelving a call and I'm buying an extra shelf for up in the third bedroom. And uh, I'm also buying a couple of spare shelves as well. So it'll just complete it. I won't need to think about it. Let's go and pick them up. That's okay. So, so the third bedroom, I'm putting in this shelf that I've just bought and I'm gonna need some tubs because I'm, I've decided that the clothing that's in the, uh, in the cupboard at mum and dad's place is gonna need to go into tubs and be housed in that third bedroom with this new shelf. So as you can see, I'm here at Bunnings. I don't know exactly how many tubs I'm gonna need for the amount of clothing that I have, but I think I might just buy 10 tubs and just hope for the best. So I've just lost $395 out of the wallet. Um, $400 if you count the two snaggers that I got at Bunnings, but um, 400 bucks, not a bad spend. Uh, the shelves are good to finalize. I really wanted to do that today. I didn't want to leave anything still to be done. I just want to get in, be complete, and not have to worry about layout. So happy to finalize that. And then I've gone ahead and bought a, uh, the tubs as well for 95 bucks. I'm hoping that with the amount of clothes that I've got, 10 extra tubs is gonna be enough, but we'll soon find out. I don't know, we'll have to get back home and see. I think I'm only realizing now just how much work is actually involved in all of this. I've got so much clothing to go through. I've looked everything out and I've broken it all up into sporting uh, winter button up and just casual tees. But to get all these into tubs, it's gonna take a heap of time. I've still got to work out what I'm doing with this big pile of plush toys. That's gonna to be a bit of work. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. And then I've got all of this stuff up here too, just misc related stuff, few books, few electronics, few board games. So I'm gonna have to find places for all of this as well. There's still a lot of work in this room. I'm just gonna close that for now because I don't wanna look at it. All right, so I've run into one of my first issues. You see, I've got all of this clothing. I've got a lot of clothing. It's all stacked up. Now, all of it are going into these tubs and before I only had the problem of needing to scan through the cupboard. And that was a very easy look. I'll just quickly run through, there it is, pull, done. But what I'm having to do now, because I don't have the cupboard space and my new place, which I didn't think would be a massive issue, turns out it is, 
is putting it into tubs. And when you put them into tubs, if something was to sell, that's gonna take an absolute age. I know that my SKU system needs to be put into place and I think I don't have a choice now. I think I'm gonna be forced to sit here and go through every single one of my clothing items first. Shoes are still fine, they're easy to find in the tubs, but this is the real concern. So I'm gonna try and fix that now. Um, look, all of this still left in here is pretty much just the finishing touches. The bones of the setup over there is pretty much now complete. So I guess, I guess I can show you the new office. Welcome to the office. I'm pretty excited about this, guys. We are now complete. I am in, and I'm absolutely loving every single bit of this. It's uh, it's pretty much everything that I had pictured in my mind. Nothing really has gone wrong here, and the quantity of all my stock fitting in rooms like this have been absolutely spot on. So, very excited to get started in here. There are just a couple of little bits and pieces that I need to finish off. Um, I've obviously got this desk that isn't going to be my actual desk. It's just a trestle table for now, but I'm going to go ahead and put in something like a smaller timber style desk with maybe some drawers on the side that I can use. And then I've got to set up my laptop as well. So there's a few little bits and pieces before I'm completely operational um, on a desk front there, but I've got my listing station set up and ready to go. Got the mannequin, I brought him over and uh, I've got my little shoe shapers over as well and the box lights are sitting perfectly to be honest in the room. I was really worried with the box lights. There was going to be a concern with the width of the room and them sticking out too much but that's just not been the case. That's been able to slot in perfectly. I think these storage units, uh, these storage tubs have been absolutely perfect um, to be able to get them more or less half a tub off the ceiling I think is just spot on. Um, and I'm so happy that I went to Apple yesterday and I bought that uh, Apple shelving. Um, from a, a third tier or a fourth tier, um, a fifth tier, it's five tiers actually. Um, that's a big guy, so 50 tubs in the garage at all times, stock to the brim, you can fit a lot of items in there. And then this bookshelf, this bookshelf off Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks, and we've been able to get it up to the ceiling, nothing too concerned there. And uh, none of these discs or DVDs, box sets are gonna get wrecked either with this bookshelf. So the bookshelf safe, and the items are safe. So, been able to cram a whole lot more than I ever thought. The, the shipping little area that I've got, my little mail out tray, I had this back at the other place uh, at the door as I was leaving. It's here on the garage door as I'm leaving. I've got my shipping supplies tucked away under there um, that I'll sort out, I guess, a little later, but for now I can just tuck it in there. And uh, yeah, that's the room, guys. I reckon I'll be in here for quite a while. And then as I step into the laundry, there is this little room, which is quite handy. It's a bit of a storage room. So I haven't got a lot in here at the moment, but I just went and bought a stack of paper. I'm just gonna go and get a printer for my desk, but that's gonna be good there. And, uh, and then I've got a heap of different satchels that I've bought as well from Australia Post. So this is gonna be a room that I'm gonna be able to house sort of stationary items like this. And I'll probably maybe set myself up with a little, a little um, I guess, tray of shelves there as well that I can pick from. But for now, that's gonna be a really little handy little room in there. Um, and it's obviously right next to the office as well. Uh, we've got a toilet in here as well. So really, really good um, sort of access to everything that you'll need on a daily basis. And then we go to the third bedroom. So I would have liked to have been able to get the Apple shelving set up in this room. Basically, it's just gonna sit right there where you're gonna see five high and five across, just like downstairs. It's the exact same style shelf. Um, so you can get 25 tubs along that wall and it's gonna go up quite a way, but that'll fill that entire wall. I've got the Ninja, Ninja Turtles. I love this rug, I haven't been able to sell it, so I'm gonna keep it. The Ninja Turtles rug here in this room just makes it look nice. And then I've got all my DVDs, all my individual DVDs, uh, movies and TV shows stacked up on this wall right here as well, which is looking pretty full. But I think with the clothing on this, on this other wall, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fill it up with clothing. I don't think I have as much clothing as I thought I did. So 
There's eight tubs here already. I think I'm probably going to only be able to fill up with clothes another, I want to say two, maybe three. So let's just say two, that's going to work out to 10 tubs. I've got 15 tubs worth of space that I haven't yet allocated anything for. So we do have some room to play with in this room, which is fantastic. But um, it's going to be an extra little room that I'm going to be able to fill up and I'm just really happy to have it. So this move has definitely taken a whole lot longer than I thought it would. We're now on day three. I thought I'd easily be able to get it done within two days, but it's just nice to finally be in and I've got everything across. And apart from setting up this desk with a laptop, I'm pretty much ready to go. It's nice that in the third bedroom upstairs, there is that space to still be able to grow. And I haven't even yet put in the storage unit or the little storage shed that I've got planned for my three by three out in the garden. And yet all of my stuff from eBay is now over here. So 1500 items set up and ready to go. I think this room in here is looking great. I don't think I could have optimized the space any better. Um, I do need to do a SKU system. I will be doing a SKU system for the first couple of weeks that I'm in here. I'll just slowly chip away at it one by one, one tub at a time and just see how many days it takes to do. But I won't put a real stress on it. It'll just be something that I chip away with. But guys, two years I've been reselling full time. I started at my parents' place two years ago with the thought of just making a YouTube channel and documenting my entire journey for anybody else out there that might want to do the same thing. And I've just had a lot of fun over these two years. So much so that it's got me into a position where I've been able to get a house and get my own garage and set up my business in the garage. But from flipping a plush toy for $20 two years ago to now having everything that you can see here, anything that you set your mind to is completely possible if you just attack it and work really hard for it. And I'm just really thankful that I've got this space to play with and I'm looking forward to continuing to grow in it, continuing to grow this YouTube channel from it and uh, who knows what will happen in the next two years to come. So thank you very much for being here, guys. Really excited for the journey that we've got ahead of us. If you're yet to subscribe to the channel, it's the start of a new chapter today. Today is my first day in the new place and we've just set up the office. So jump on board the channel, go and watch the old videos back at mum and dad's place and I'll leave you with last week's video right here, which was a fun one to watch. So appreciate the support, guys. My 30% clubbers that stick around to the end. You guys are the best. We'll see you soon.